So you've already seen on my channel how good Nvidia GeForce Now is and the pros and the cons and maybe future updates. And today I'm going to try to use GeForce Now on a really, really cheap laptop. So I actually got this one for free and the specs are just under the requirements. So on the Nvidia Now site it says the PC hardware requirements are an Intel i3 with 3.1 GHz or a faster CPU. I wish they listed a Intel counterpart, but they didn't. 4 GB of system memory and a GPU that support at least DirectX 9. So this will be an Nvidia GeForce 600 series or newer. An AMD Radeon HD 3000 series or newer. Or Intel HD Graphics 2000 or newer. So this laptop for the CPU has an Core to Duo P8600. This isn't close to the i3 because it has just two cores and also two threads. And the max uh, clock speed is 2.4 GHz. So it isn't um, two cores, four threads with 4.1 GHz. So we'll see how it works. For the system memory, this one has 4 GB, so that should be enough. And the GPU is an ITA uh, Radeon HD 3650, which also should be supported. So two of the three things are supported and only the CPU isn't. For my internet connection, I have a LAN cable plugged in, so that should be fine. So let's close out of this and boot up NVIDIA GeForce Now, if it works. Alright, so so far it loads, um, th that's a good thing. And we're gonna try PUBG at first, because this is a more intensive game. But because you are streaming over the internet, I don't think it will actually matter if you play a demanding or non-demanding game. Alright, so there is some glitchiness, but it actually boots up, I think. When I was trying it out, it booted up the game, it didn't run properly. But it seems like just freezing now. So let's close out of this one. And let's try Counter Strike. Alright, so again, some visual things. And it freezes. So now let me try real quick to actually go into it, into the Steam, manage Steam. My network connection is fine, so that's not a problem. I can try on Wi-Fi, of course. And I will do it if this doesn't work. Alright, so Steam actually boots up. And is it frozen? And again, the whole system freezes and I can't do anything. This really sucks, because if you had a laptop like this, which is really cheap, and it was expensive a long while ago, it would be actually great if you could game on it. But so far, no luck. Let's exit out of Steam. Oh. So, if you have a lower end CPU, which is lower than the requirements, especially if it has two threads less or a way lower clock speed, it won't work. If you have little memory, oh, well, I don't think you are going to try this on like a two gigabyte system memory thing. But you could try, and I think the RAM will matter less. But I still recommend 4GB of memory at all time for online games and all games. And for the GPU, most modern um, computers have the Intel HD Graphics 2000 series or at least a counterpart from Nvidia or AMD. So that should actually be fine. So I think the CPU is the most important thing. 
The weird thing, on a Mac, Core to Duos are supported and on PC they aren't. So that's one thing I think it's kind of weird. And it would be fun if Nvidia released a new version of Nvidia now for the low end systems. And it could only stream, for example, say 720p. And the performance would be 30 FPS. But if it would run on lower end PCs, I think it would be great. But we don't know if it will come out, if it would. And I hope you found this video useful so you're not going to waste your money if you have a low-end computer like this. And I will see you in the next video.